Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All. In this video today we are going to check out Game Maker GML Visual Drag and Drop block which is called Set Path Follow Speed. So with that block we can set the speed with which object instance will follow the path. Uh, in other words, that way we can change the speed if needed and again for example just use the something which is most uh, latest or most simple for you uh, uh, from my point of view it's some kind of tower defense game where you have different kind of enemies and we can now uh, control them to become more or less fast so if they are at specific position now at uh, the path uh, we can in every moment say okay now go faster now go slower and so on so uh, let's try to do that again uh, so far we had defined the uh, path in our game so this guy's uh, green zombie can follow it and uh, we uh, can see it goes uh, from zero position is from 0 to 1 uh, the whole path is defined from 0 as the start and the 1 as the end uh, that position is about the zombie and the speed is 3 it doesn't change so uh, let's uh, uh, first of all uh, let's think about how and when to uh, define that uh, change so for example we can use some of those uh, variables here which we have defined in a draw like get path and get position along path um, and with those variables uh, speed or position maybe we can um, use those to decide yeah for example we can say uh, when the zombie uh, which starts from zero comes to 0 0.20 like 20 percent on his path then speed up from uh, current speed to more faster speed like current speed is three go to four or something like that uh, and uh, again it will now be uh, conditioned with uh, positions so we are saying okay when the zombie comes at some exact position on the path then start to go faster so uh, we have used this uh, get position along path to get information of position and that if information is above zombie head you can see how it changes and now it's 0 0.2 so it's 20 percent so um, okay maybe we can say 0 0.4 or something like that when the zombie is at 0 0.4 go faster so i want to use that information that information is here in a variable which is called path position zombie uh, but the problem here is that this uh, variable is in a draw event so I think that will make problem for us but let me check anyway so um, what do I want to do I want to first create step event because uh, I want to check this every frame um, this condition and the condition is uh, with if variable it is one of the common blocks so if variable okay and which variable I want to use I want to use this guy here uh, path position zombie so if path position zombie is I will copy paste it here if that variable is uh, for example greater or equal of 0 0.2 I want to set path follow speed which is one of the path blocks uh, set not position but path follow speed that is the uh, <coughs> second from the right <coughs> and it is important to put it into this 
into this if variable so it will happen only and only if this variable is greater or equal or if this condition is true i want to set path follow speed to what starting speed was three so i want that to go to four or five maybe so we can see the difference i think this will not work because um, my variable here uh, is um, defined in draw okay so i think i will get some kind of error yeah okay variable obj zombie path position zombie not set yeah um okay so i am in problem here but i think we can resolve that faster and also learn another uh we have learned another thing uh, what can happen to you um often more or less in your game development in game maker but also other game engines and how to uh solve it so again the problem here is that and i will maybe link to that in some other video the problem is that uh, this variable here uh, which I say define it and put it into this it's defined in a draw event and draw event even here you can see it it happens after step event so you can take this um, um, layering uh, create step draw like um, how it's uh, done in game maker engine i think it's more or less true don't uh, take me for word we will find that on internet later uh, but uh, what i want to say is that the game maker as engine has the order of the events events go in some specific order first i think the room events are uh, created so uh, variables are read in the room where you can define some variables here creation code with this creation code uh, for the room so we haven't learned that yet uh, then um, uh, game maker reads i think the variables for all object instances and so on then it goes through step to use that uh, variables and it repeats step as many times so in short there is some specific order which must be followed uh, if that doesn't happen you are in problem you will get error uh, that order here we have uh, made mistake we uh, uh, crushed that order in terms of we said okay uh, i want to use some variable here in step event and that variable is path position zombie but i haven't defined that in my create event so my game maker engine is confused he cannot find that uh, variable and he asks for it he says okay this is an error he doesn't see that that variable is here created when i get position along path because this happens this happens in draw event and draw event happens after step event here is create first step draw so there is some kind of confusion but i think we can uh resolve it relatively easy okay so let me try just uh the simplest way to just define first in create event that variable with assign variable and i will call it as i did here uh path position zombie uh or maybe just path position okay path position zombie just to make it shorter anyway so i have defined now path position zombie variable in my create event for zombie obj instance here it is it has value of zero then i say to my step event okay if that variable is greater or equal than 0 0.2 do this because it is zero this will not happen at the start so i'm not in the problem this will work and then i check that position every second during draw event i draw it on the screen and it will happen a few seconds later this variable will change and i think this will work 
although we this um, this um, video is about this guy here this block again um, because we are going to use it with combination with position of the instance on our path we had to do a couple of other things and I will disable this right click because I'm still in problem with that okay so we haven't changed the draw we haven't changed the left pressed all we had to do is put this set speed for the object instance on the path to 5 when or if when that position is greater or equal than 0 0.2 okay so let's see that and it works you see how how he become more faster so this was i think this was a nice example this can be for example when a zombie uh, touches some uh, instance or uh, enters some zone speed it up uh, or uh, slow it down when he's on ice or when tower with ice uh, bullets shots him and so on and so on uh, i will change the speed to two just to see this uh, with more effect 0 0.2 here it goes so he, see how it speeds up uh, let me try another thing here to change this to relative I will check on this relative box and now my speed will add to I think it will add to this first speed which was 2 it will be add 5 to 2 so now it will be 7 even more faster let's check that wow <laughs> this was crazy so uh, yeah we don't want to do that but just to, to show it how it works and again we have used different variables we have used different techniques here but I think this is more or less uh, uh, useful for some of you who want to make games um, because this can be use, used in real world sample and again I have used this if question if condition with value of 0.2 you can say okay instead of that I want to use that my zombie moves faster when he goes more than 50% than of his path so now it will be 0.5 so it's slow 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 until I hit 0.5 and then I go faster or any other condition I can put here condition when player touches me when player shoots a bullet on me and so on and again it's all up to you uh, when um, uh, when the zombie eats some kind of power up and so on and so on uh, endless possibilities but again uh, you have to go step by step and um, learn the basics then just combine them and make more uh, powerful content that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in next one bye for now